dynamic of it, is it still working? Is it still viable? It does, it does. It takes, it takes quite a bit of juggling from our side to make it viable. Well, everybody, we are back at Wilson Farming. I think it's eight years, Ian, since uh, we first came about here and started the Mammoth Project to put together the Wilson Farming Series. A lot has changed in those eight years, but one thing, because at all the shows that we go to, we've always had a, a teaser video up, and it happens to be the bit where you say, I can see the higher side growing at Wilson Farming. I see the business growing. I see the higher side growing a lot. I have to ask you straight up as a personal question. Has that bit been true? That bit has been true. We've grown the forager side, more on the horsepower side, really. So we've gone into a little bit more of biogas work with the foragers. So they want in the 800 to 1,000 horsepower range. The tractor side has grown. We're, we're operating up to 40 tractors now on our contracting and hire fleet. Wow. Uh, we're hiring more loading shovels and we're just starting to feel into the digger higher. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. A, so a little birdie flew on my shoulder one day and told me that. <laughs> All right, okay, okay. You know these wee birdies that fly about? <laughs> but when you say about, you know, the horsepower is growing because Wilsons have been extremely, pretty much famously known for the largest self-propelled forager owner. And I don't know how, how big an area. And you've hired a lot of those out and run a few yourselves in your own contracting business. And back when we first came about, it was two 1100s that you were running, mostly on your own contracting fleet, and then a higher fleet of one crone and 30 odd class. Yeah. yeah. Is, are we still in the same sort of principle, only bigger? Yes, we are, we are, we are. We are. Now we, we put our 30 11 18 last year into the fleet and we run a 780 as well. Um, so. Again, we, we run two of those on our own contracting fleets and then they go out onto maize. We have a hire of um, actually Northern Ireland that hires, that will be hiring 1180 this time or well, next year offers. So yes, yeah. Another angle that you and I were talking about on the phone, I mean, you'd sort of uh, progressed, uh, if the right word is, into the, the big X 1180s and we were all guns blazing. We wanted to come out this season yep. and spend a bit of time with these but the old COVID hit us this yep, in 2020. Yep. And when we were just chatting on the phone and talking about the differences, you're selling a lot more of your second hand machine or you're, you're turning it a lot faster than you used to because there's a value in good, fresh, second hand equipment. Yes. Yeah. But again, when we were chatting on the phone, I thought you were meaning small scale. We, we, we. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, you, you know me, Gary. <laughs> um, we, we've, always, we've always sold second-hand equipment. Not to the scale we're doing it now, but yeah, Dad back 30 years ago was selling second-hand foragers of our own fleet. Um, we are giving it a little push now. Um, I think there's a market there. We, we've, sold, we've sold foragers in the past, and like even this year, we sold an 856 years ago. That customer rang me up and said, this machine's been fantastic. What else have you got in your fleet to replace it? So we've done this for years. It's something that I enjoy doing. We have a list of equipment that's well serviced, that we look after, that we are glad to put our name to it and to move that out to the next customers. Yeah, but that list, let's talk about that list of equipment. Yeah. <laughs> Now, if you forget something that's on that list, we'll forgive you, Ian. <laughs> but what's on that list of equipment? Like, I mean, what are you sitting with ready to sell right now, roughly? There is up to five 940s. There's four 870 class harvesters. There's three JCB loading shovels, a 419 and two 435s. There's up to eight Fent tractors. There's up to eight deers. <laughs> There's, up to yes, and I, I say, want I say registrations. I, I, say, I, say, I say I say up to because because we're contracting and hiring. If we, if they don't move, they'll come back into our contracting fleet, or, or hire or too. hire. Uh, we're, we're very flexible, and that's how we can make it work. Uh, we don't need we don't need to sell. They can come back and they can work. <laughs>
big percentage of that uh, resale fleet, if that's the right way to word that, is actually over with us. It is, yes. In, in yep. Northern Ireland, yep. you know, so we can put up a bit of information or follow you guys through your Facebook page or our page if you want to go and take a wee browse through. The, I guess it's there. And yes. we, but I mean, I, I was looking back through some of the footage and, and I was blown away. And the digger thing, I didn't see that one coming. No, no. A lot of our hire equipment is green line equipment, so it's harvest equipment. So we're flat out from May till September, and then it drops off. Especially after May's, it drops off. I wanted to put something to the business that gives us an earning capacity throughout those winter months. Summer months as well, but gives it throughout the winter months. We've always run diggers ourselves. We've always done a little bit of civil work. We get on very well with JCB. Their equipment is, is, is fantastic in my eyes. And yeah, it's a natural progression to go into the digger side. And you are set up not just here in Preston for, for hiring machines like that, but that's a service that you're now taking right through to Ireland as well. You have a bit of a relationship built up with Denison's there as yes, well. And, yes, yes, yeah, and, yeah. And you have a few machines over there on hire. Yes, yeah, yeah, we do, we do. So, so you're not just toying with it? We're not, we're not just toying with it, but we're feeling a way into it. Yes. Um, there, there is a number of diggers there now and yeah. Obviously, Ian, when we were with you before, a large part of our time was spent on your Shropshire site. Yep. And at that stage, Miscanthus and the renewable energy was all very much in its I don't know if infancy is just the right word, but you were, you were really feeling your way with all yes, of that. Yes, we were, we were, we were. Eight years later, what's happening? Because you, you have, this whole renewable energy thing has kind of snowballed. It does, yeah. It, it's, In different ways. Yeah, 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 certainly. So, so, so from the miscanthus side, we're still harvesting the hectares of miscanthus we, we have done. It is, that side is growing a little bit. The way we harvest it, especially on our own farms, has changed a little bit. We're actually direct cutting it now. Yeah. through one of these foragers here and, and getting a chip out of these foragers rather than putting it on the floor, waiting for the weather to dry it, bailing it, trying to move it. So yeah, so that's how so things have changed a little bit there. And, but that, that has also brought a lot more work into these. Like yeah. th this machine here, it's just come back in off a job in Yorkshire. Hopefully if we get a little bit of frost next week, that's cutting Miss Canthus end of next week. Yeah, but it's basically in for a turnaround. It's in for a turnaround. Your yard, the infrastructure here at HQ has changed there's mountains of wood chip and there's boilers and there's just things that went a bit different, but leaving that all to the side, there's a machine out here on the wash bay called a Pezzolotto or something. Yes, <laughs> Hold yeah, on, I get this right in my Italian accent, a Pezzolotto. That's it, sir, you, you <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> what is going on, Ian? We have a number of boilers ourselves, so we have a, we have a wood chip demand ourselves and we also supply a number of boilers around us as well. We're bringing round timber in, we're chipping, we're drying, we're screening, and we're selling that as a wood fuel. But this is a fairly new venture. It is. It it's is. one week old. It, yeah, that, that machine is one week old. <laughs> that machine is one week old. So watch yeah. this space. Yes, absolutely. It, it's a fantastic machine. It, it's an awesome machine to see. 700 it horsepower, I do believe. Se you 700 see? horsepower. There, thereabouts, Volvo yeah. engine. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, uh, it's, Have it's, you it's, drove it? it? I, I have. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave that to my operators to drive that. But it's, uh, yeah, it's a good machine and the chip quality is fantastic off it. So. Um, and how's the boss man? The boss man is good. The boss man is doing very good. He is, he is, he's, uh, he, keeps, he still keeps an eye on us. But he, he's away, you know, I was chatting to him just briefly there when we arrived. He's loaded up the van, he's away, he's flat out as always. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, no, he's, he's good, he's good. Well, look, that is absolutely brilliant. Look, Ian, as I say, delighted to be able to call in delighted that the whole thing for want of a better word eight years later from we first came about is going from strength to strength and hopefully 2021 will be our year to get back out and spend a bit of time with you in these these 1180s because I'm, I'm pretty sure they're awesome bits of kit yep they are they are and, and you it, guys are more than welcome absolutely anytime and thank you very much well look and as i say if you want a good second hand john deere or new holland or fint or JCB <laughs> digger or loading <laughs> shovel or a 940 harvester or an 1180 if you want it <laughs> and you have the checkbook <laughs> yeah come can... and see me but that's exactly and this is the time of the year when guys love to take a look around stuff and see what's out there so you know go on to the Facebook page get the information make the calls whatever you want to do and carry on and thanks for allowing us back to see you and we'll hopefully get more good stuff coming soon. Maybe get out and see this in the Miscanthus. Yep, yep, that'd be perfect. Lovely. Thank, and thank you, guys. You. Cheers.